No, I'm Misty Melton. I'm the chapter leader and founder of World Development Baltimore. I know kind of coding skills before. So, um, what little I've done, I've learned on my own. Um, so, um, it was a learning experience for me as well to come in here and kind of see the format, you know, how it works and how to explain things to me. Um, as far as other expectations, um, the, the students coming in, uh, we're all pretty new to Korea, um, and I hope that they would leave with some understanding of you know, basic HTML, which is what the class was for, um, and I think that the really like, I think we met, they maybe even exceeded expectations as far as, you know, the amount of right. That's like 20 years ago. So, how did you pick your team? I had an information night, and they were all, some of the people that showed up and expressed interest in teaching or being TAs or otherwise helping out. So, when we went to schedule the class, I reached out to the people that had expressed interest, and um, a number of them stepped up. I didn't necessarily know that we had a student community yet to even have the that we have, so it's really exciting that it's grown as quickly as it has, and I know that there are just so many more women out there that would be interested in this that hopefully will be able to engage as well. It's, it's great to have them support, and it really helps a lot. They've helped a lot in getting the word out and just providing some between Harris offering space for a well, sponsorship on the classes, um, and I did a, a podcast with Sharon, and they've, they've been tweeting out uh, about the class and just helping the word out. It's been awesome. Um, we also had a class tonight at Gretchen LeGrand, who yeah, is the uh, director um, at Coding School. So that was also really cool. It's, it's really cool to try, and everybody in the community is really interested in building a stronger tech community and getting more women involved. Misty completely had the idea all on her own and was going to make this thing happen. And I happened to be at lunch with a mutual friend who said, Did you know girl development is going to come to Baltimore? And I leaned across the table with like all of my intensity and said, Tell me more. Um, because I'd already done some teaching about WordPress at different events around the city and just got a really good feedback from that and just loved being in a room with people and demystifying and making tech approachable to them. I think it's definitely true and, and you see lots of articles and stories online about how tech can be an unwelcoming space for women and the challenges that women have in tech, whether they are coders or if they are just in a different role in a tech company and the way women are received and respected or not in those environments and I think that's terrible. I think that particularly with the role that the web plays in our lives right now that for women not to be part of technology is painful and problematic to me. That because we're going to use the technology just as much as men are then we should also be making it and forming it and being part of those decisions about what tech does and how it is produced.